A surprise ruling from a judge in Malheur County has a major impact on the small town of Coquille. KEZI 9 News reporter Evita Garza talked to neighbors about the overturned conviction of Nicholas McGuffin. For Coquille residents, the summer of 2000 was a season they'll never forget. That was when 15 year old Leah Freeman went missing, throwing their small town into a panic. Her sister was in the area here. Everybody was looking for her. Um, we were all just very concerned, did a lot of praying. In August of that year, police found her decomposed remains in the woods right outside of town. So decomposed, they couldn't tell how she had died. Some people tell me Nicholas McGuffin was the first person to blame for her death. But courts overturned his manslaughter conviction last week, the judge citing DNA evidence. I have no idea. I don't, no idea. There were so many rumors flying around at the time. I have no idea. Coos County District Attorney Paul Frazier says the DNA information wasn't presented to a jury because he did not know about it. And this is just an unfortunate situation where science has the DNA technology is so much more advanced 19 years later. Many neighbors say they're unhappy about the possibility of McGuffin's release. One man I spoke with says McGuffin was guilty then and he's guilty now, no matter what the DNA says. Almost 20 years after Freeman was killed, neighbors say they can't believe this case is still going on. It was a case that shook this small town, and people say it's hard to recall those memories. Another woman I spoke to says they hope McGuffin's release will give him a second chance at life. Well, I would hope, Lord willing, that he can be reunited, reunited with his, his child and wife, if, if that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, like I say, he served his time as far as I'm concerned. Frazier, who handled the original case, says the DNA evidence doesn't mean McGuffin is innocent. He says that's up for the courts to decide if a retrial ever happens. As it stands now, McGuffin will be released in August when his original sentence ends. In Coquille, Avita Garza, KEZI, 9 News.